Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? I do apologize if my mic sounds a little bit lower or if there's more stuff being picked up. I'm using a different mic right now because my really good one got a short in it and I'm going to invest like, uh, I don't know, I think it's like $50, $60 for it, the mic that I had, but it doesn't pick up anything. Like it's probably one of the best mics I've had in quite some time, so <clears throat> I definitely want to go back to it. But overall, uh, I want to talk to you guys about this week's episode of Viking Sega. Because ah, it sucks to see this happening, but at the same time, it's so obvious, right? Like, it's so obvious that you can't keep pushing people um, in a certain direction without expecting some type of backlash. <clears throat> or without expecting some type of actual uh, overall grievance for doing such. So our main mercenary ass lad is getting pretty much the bad, worst end of having people who not only are powerful and strong in their own right, but at the same time they have their own mindsets, they have their own reasons for being uh you know stronger than most and stuff like that so it's pretty sketchy when it comes down to this week's episode learning that they're pretty much going to give us the long and short end of what is going on <clears throat> with you know if they're going to have to fight each other if they're going to have to take out each other's you know like their own people before then trying to escape Thorkel, which doesn't seem possible anymore now that it's you know that this is happening <laughs> um, it's it's these types of things that get me excited because now we know what the situation truly can look like at any given time and with this situation we straight up got to see how fast and uh, aware the leader is that Asclad is of his people he didn't for a second believe in them anymore after he told them to, you know, do the bridge and <clears throat> do all this and that. Because guess what? He already could see a mile away who's willing to betray him and who's not. So some of the best things that he has going for him are very apparent and clear. And that's one thing I truly love about uh, the overall character design and uh like having them look a certain way when something's going on awry right uh everybody who was kind of against him who was kind of on the fence about everything he was doing we instantly knew just by the way they're looking back and all all skeptical and whatever so i love i love shows that can animate that in a good way because some people can't understand just based off of animation and stuff going on within the story what's going on hence why some sub uh subs and dub watchers just don't like watch the same stuff because they don't really get everything from the reading and then they look at the body language and it doesn't line up so for me <clears throat> this body language this everything that's going on through and through is something easy for me to take in because i've seen all of these shows do this. I've seen what usually happens when these emotions are shown. And by just even thinking about crossing this man, he's already out. He's already like, well, peace. I hope you guys are the best since you're already portraying me. Uh, you're clearly scum more than I knew. And because of that, I'm out of here. Good luck and bye. <laughs> you know, but it was a little too late for that. It was a little bit too late, and we easily got to see <clears throat> just what is possible uh, for, you know, the overall narrative of this story. The overall, like, end game of this all is going to really kind of, um, I think, line up relatively well with everything we've seen so far for... For for Thorfinn, though, I feel like is one of those things in the air, man. Like, I honestly don't know if he's going to be okay, if he's not going to be okay. Like, whatever happens to Thor is up in the air. I mean, he could get 
he could get one of the dopest battles against the person he's been wanting to take out this whole time but now that every single person has turned their back on him how does Thorfinn get that fight you know what I mean like how does he wind up in a position where he can even take on any of these people if uh, you know if even one so it's it's interesting to me in those regards when it comes down to whose side would Thorfinn take now does he hop off the the cargo thing and say all right I'm fighting you and all these people here if I lose they're coming for you you know uh, come on <laughs> um, I think it's I think it's pretty straightforward that anyone who sees a lot of the signs that Thorfinn isn't like gonna be that quick to jump ship you know like he's not gonna be that fast to jump at this opportunity I feel simply because if he does you wind up probably not in a the best position I want to say because at this point the best position is just having somebody who uh, seemingly has a plan still seemingly isn't afraid and pushing forward because as of right now these guys are acting completely out of like their own terror of what's to come so because of that they have no real rights to be called leaders and stuff like that in my opinion and probably in the opinion of the man who they're trying to take out as well so it, those are the types of things that this show kind of puts forward to make you think and make you really wonder <clears throat> you know like why are certain aspects happening and if they are happening like this does it if who else is it affecting other than just the people we're watching because the people who are watching right now are they can't stop and eat they can't they have no breathing space you know like they literally are just forced to continue to just push on and that's what Aslad had planned for them the people behind them to destroy the bridge to make them you know have to actually question what they're doing in the grand scheme of oh uh, I can't literally go <clears throat> I literally can't bring our sleds over here because they destroyed the bridge do we keep pushing or do we make a new bridge for us to all cross over and waste time no of course they're going to keep pushing because they don't want to lose track of them so it's one of the things that in a situation that they're in i understand why the soldiers who already think their captain or their leader is out of luck uh, are having a hard time believing that these are the good choices but overall he's making some smart choices like not everybody is as well off as uh, Thor Kell and is so battle driven and stuff like that so when some people would fall Thor Kell isn't gonna fall but at the same time he's not going to have every single person with them unless they're that loyal and that's kind of I think where uh, the leader of our squad is kind of going in this case he's looking to see if there's any questionable uh, leadership within them if there's any way he can slow them down mentally physically any way shape or form just to keep pushing um, that's that's the type of person our the leader is of you know this army or like this mercenary group of people we hate that took out one of the best characters Thor's um, so these are the types of things that with this show it, it clearly clearly knows what it's doing and I love I love that moment of just clarifying like this guy is not safe no one's safe on anyone's team right now simply because no one knows what's gonna happen in the future no one knows what to think uh, in, in these tough situations so now all of a sudden you're stuck looking everybody's looking for the right answers but everybody's looking at each other and guess what they still don't have the answers so I don't know I, I, I like I like shows that don't leave things so wide open that you're kind of just left uh, not knowing anything but at the same time thinking that all these guys would betray him and even the guys who 
are you know like brothers and even one of them had to think about it you know they're like why would we betray him he's a good man he's doing well he's doing better than i we thought he would ever do he's like yeah but his luck ran out so we got to do it you know so it's one of those situations where you could tell which one's the younger brother or which one's the older brother or just which one's more ambitious than the other um and maybe not so much ambitious but have some foresight of the situation ahead uh, but overall, I think they're doing an amazing job with all these troops and whatnot. But at the same time, they just all signed their death marks. And I think this is another good reason why opening songs kind of do a little bit extra. It's because I never understood why we saw uh, our main character so beat up and bloody while we only then see two characters or, yeah, two characters ahead of him and no soldiers behind him, you know? So. It looks like we're already getting to that opening song explaining itself and whatnot, which kind of is annoying and kind of the reason why I don't watch openers anymore until almost we get a, if I get a new opener, I usually would go back and watch the old ones. <laughs> uh, it just tells too much and it's always a shame to know that, oh yeah, he's going to lose his whole entire army and then once he loses them all. Thorfinn still helped and while helping got beat up or something you know it's like wow I found all that out just by listening to a song <laughs> that's kind of annoying but overall I definitely want to know what you guys are feeling about this show uh this week's episode overall did you did you believe his troops would actually go through with this betrayal uh and did you how do you see this playing out for the people who are actually doing this as well like this is kind of unheard of for um you know people to get out of like you're going against a whole bunch of trained vikings right like you're not supposed to just be able to take out your own men that are supposed to be ridiculously well equipped for all these situations but we're also talking about people who are much much oh my god that looks so sick we're talking about people that look that are much much better at everything they do uh, compared to what we've seen for you know other armies that they pushed against so to think that this is all going to come out ahead and people are going to have to take each other's bosses their own bosses out to think that they get further in life because now their whole plan is let's just give these guys the prince as a bartering gift like maybe the war kill would leave us alive and we saw what happened to the last people who thought they would live so with all that being said i hope you guys have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be i am your boy the anime g and i will definitely definitely talk to you in the next one so with that peace